All right, folks, here's the thing. Just mowed the lawn today, been using the Ryobi. It's been working pretty good. Since the last fix, which was putting flex tape on that flap, things are working really good. All right. It still has its challenges, and one of its biggest challenges is that you're pushing this lawn more in very high temperatures. Now, today was only 98 degrees, only. And why I say that is, if you can see that, that's how hot it's going to be, uh, up to 106. So, um, the Ryobi has an advantage. It has a lawn clippings catcher, a bag. The craftsman there does not. And so it's going to throw thatch everywhere, which I don't like to do. But in 106 degree weather, I got to mow the lawn. Uh, and uh, I think I'm going to use the sit down. So I got to start it up. It's been a whole season. I haven't started it. Let's see if it'll start up today. All right. Now the biggest challenge will be, will the Black & Decker battery charger um, actually work well? See, I've got this thing plugged in. It's been plugged in all season. Let's uh, turn the key and see what happens. Quite good. It's uh, it's a little loud right now, but it's working. That Black and Decker did a great job. I gotta get air in the tires. Uh, I gotta make sure there's plenty of fuel. There's only about a quarter tank. I need a full tank to actually mow all the lawns. Let's get on that. I gotta open the door. There's so much smoke in here. I'm I don't want to get asphyxiated. Yeah. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Yeah, you know how it goes. It's like the song from The Fix. Yeah, so, uh, uh, although everything that I needed to do here needed to get done. I needed to move some sheetrock, some spare sheetrock that I have and I stored it up against the wall over there and uh, so I can get this lawnmower out uh, in the next day or so. Um, now I'm going to fill up the air with tires. What I wanted to bring to your attention today is if you have a lawnmower, sit down riding lawnmower like this, chances are your tires are going to take no more than 10 pounds or 10 psi. Inflate to 10 psi max. Now, I know these need to be uh, inflated a bit because well they're kind of uh, flat right now. Not super flat, but you know, I, I can tell there's a need for air. Flat tire. And uh, if you think you're just gonna run out and use your um, automobile uh, tire gauge, think again, because your automobile tire gauge is designed for things from around 20, 20 PSI to maybe 25, all the way up to 100 PSI and it's just not going to have the ability uh, to, to, to show you 10 PSI. So make sure you have a tire pressure gauge that can go down to, like this one, um, I can get one pound. And it only comes up that far, but I can see one pound. This is actually a motorcycle uh, tire pressure gauge off of my old Kawasaki. If I have a picture of that, I'll I'll throw it up there. I don't have it anymore, but I kept the air pressure gauge. Let me make a correction. It's not a tire pressure gauge. It was a pressure gauge for the forks. Uh, if you're going to do this and you have low pressure tires sitting around, or maybe you just bought one of these, make sure you pick up a tire pressure gauge that'll do 10 pounds and below like this. Oh yeah. And one other thing, 
when it's 105 degrees outside, everything gets that much more labor intensive. The battery died. I'm dying. It's hot in here. I only have a fan going. So if you hear the fan, sorry about that. It's hot. Another thing about heat, I went to go get an extension cord out of my extension cord bin. And uh, this is what's happened to it, this particular one. Uh, it's all brittle. Ruined. Okay, and the other thing you'll need is a bicycle pump tire. A bicycle pump tire. See what I mean? Bicycle tire pump. That's all I'm going to use on here. Just go nice and slow. Some of you may be tempted to use an air compressor like you would on your car. You know, your car takes 30 pounds of air, but it takes a, a large volume of air. These little tires don't take that much air. If you put too much in at a time, well, you can guess what happens. All right, let's get on this. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, didn't even register. Yeah, it didn't even register. Let's put the pump on there. Pump this baby up. Now this guy does have an inner tube. Oh yeah, I can feel it resisting a little bit. All right, let's check it. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Dead on. Is that 10 pounds or is that 10 pounds? Right on. Put that baby back on. I'm going to do the other tires. Okay, let's put this thing back on. Who knows, that might have been just a fluke. <laughs> Always go positive first, then negative. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna throw this down on top. And, uh, well, gotta find my cord. Get the cord. Plug it in. It goes beep. It does a little system check. And then it goes into flow. It's ready to go. Yeah, look at that. I'll attest to that. That's for sure. It is hot today. We haven't been having uh, triple digits since uh, December. <laughs> so it's going to take getting used to. All right. Things all taken care of. Uh, fortunately, tomorrow morning it's supposed to be around 78 degrees. That's what I'm going to do. First thing, as soon as I get some sunlight, run out there, mow the lawn. It's all ready to go. I know it'll start. If you're looking for a Black & Decker uh, battery charger and, and a uh, float charger thing, uh, and it, as a matter of fact, it also does, uh, it, in case that battery was completely dead, it'll charge itself up internally and send enough uh, charge to the system to turn it on, to at least turn it over so that your alternator can take over. Uh, very cool little thing. I'll leave a link down below. I did a full review on that baby. I like it. Uh, no one's paying me to say that. I bought that thing with my own money. And uh, I'm just passing on to you. It's a good investment. I'll put a link to the 
uh, uh, the tabletop, if you will, or the specs version that I did on that. And uh, I'll leave that link down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be wonderful. Don't forget to share this video because you never know. If you share it, you may be sharing it with someone that went, I, I, I'm so glad you shared this with me. It helped me out a lot and you'll be helping people out. I'd greatly appreciate it because it would also help me out too. It really does. Uh, Patreon patrons, you guys are awesome. If you're not a Patreon patron, would you consider doing that please? I'll leave a link to that below as well. That's it. All right, I gotta go get some Gatorade. My electrolytes are low, I can tell. I'm seeing double. I'm hot. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. I gotta go.